Well, hello everyone and welcome back to, well, actually not back because I don't think I've ever done a Fishing Planet video before. Uh, so, okay, Fishing Planet. Fishing Planet is a, uh, well, it's, I, I guess it's free to play. It's a free to play fishing game. Um, it is what I guess you'd call freemium. Uh, you can, uh, you can play the game without, uh, paying for anything. And, and a lot of people do very happily. I know I did. Um, I haven't played it for a long time. Well, let's take a look at me, for example. Uh, this is me, Onokoho. Uh, I have, I am level 33. I have 38 coins. I have $193,000. Now that's actually, a, I, I think that's a fair amount. Um, all of this pretty well I did years ago. And basically, I've been playing since 2015, but I haven't played recently, except I did play in the last day or two just to get, you know, shake the rust off and did some of the low level missions and stuff like that. So I'm, I am I got rid of some of the rust. These are my fish records, by the way. Uh, here we have an albino Yeti gar. Let's take a look. Oh, isn't he, isn't he a beautiful beauty? Oh, geez. Got that in the Everglades. <laughs> Uh, striped bass I got in San Joaquin Delta, which I can't ac actually even go to anymore because apparently it's higher level than I am. I'm not exactly sure what that's all about, but anyways, um, this, but this is the whole idea. So you have an inventory, uh, there's you, you've got your gear. I've got a hat and a vest and some, I can take three rods with me. I don't really, I don't know. I may, may invest in more. Got a uh, tackle box and my fish keeper. And then I've got some basic rods. I've got a light spinning setup, a he medium or heavy spinning setup. And, a, and then I've got a, a bait fish float, float fishing setup. And you can buy all kinds of stuff. Like you can get, you know, like different reels and all that sort of stuff, but that's not the point behind this. Um, basically I thought, you know what? I, I haven't, let's, let's try a few things. Let's go to, well, I thought maybe we'd go to Rocky. Right. I did, um, here, I already, I did Lone Star. I, uh, there's a, some Lone Star, I think is the starting lake. Um, and I did, I did some missions. You can't see them, I guess, cause they're, oh, completed missions here. I did Lone Star Exploration 1 and Exploration 2, which, uh, exp oh, got, you know, get crappy sunfish, bluegill, shiner, and then, uh, bass pickerel, grass pickerel, smallmouth buffalo, and channel catfish. And you'd win some coins and some money. All right. I got myself a nice, look at that, a glowing. I actually have that. I don't know if, do I have it actually in my, uh, where is all that stuff? Bobbers. Is that actually in my backpack? Yes, there it is right there. Uh, I've got, a, actually, I've got this one as well. It's a glowing night bobber. This was how I, you got the, some of the, those weird Yeti. Oh well, no, I can't remember how, but there was like a Halloween thing. And that's what that was from. Uh, that's also, by the way, where this hat is from. It's from years ago. I did a Halloween thing and I got a hat. <laughs> I think I got it. I think you caught it out of the water. It was really crazy. But anyways, so um, not premium sport missions. Here, let's take a look at me again. So this is me. Um, you know, I did Yeti Hunter uh, and I did um, Green Ogre Gars. That was that was the one. It was, a you know, basically. Oh, I almost I got. Tw oh, I got 21 out of 30. Um and I did win some coins. So that's how you get coins and you get uh, money is you just, you just play the game. And uh, so anyways, the point is we're going to do a mission. I, I, I'm, okay. I'm going to be cutting a lot of stuff out. This is a fishing game. There's a lot of downtime, right? A lot of downtime. Um, so I think what we'll do is we'll do Rocky exploration. I've fished Rocky before, but it's been a long time. I might win some barbless hooks. They apparently cost co coins. So... I don't know. And we want to catch shiners, bluegill, crappy, bass, and sucker. Now, if we wanted to do this right, uh, shiner, bluegill, cra those are all panfish, right? Okay. So what we do is you come in here to fish species, and you see they've got crappy, which takes, I have blood, uh, I have, ooh, I don't have any of this stuff. But I think they do go after some of the things that I do have. Marshmallows, maggots, wet. You know what? Let's get some bloodworms. Common baits. Uh, let's see. Actually, it should be probably insect worms and baits. Is there... Bloodworms. Yeah, they're 300. Ooh, let's buy them. There we go. 
<laughs> Anyways, if you're going to do it right, yeah, this is what you sort of you take a look. Bluegill, I've got dough balls, uh, golden trout, I've got flies, I've got mayflies. I also have a lot of spoons and spinners. Hopefully I've got the right size, by the way. Cutthroat, um, spoons, you don't really, you don't, I don't fish for cutthroat with, uh, with, um, baits. I usually use spoons. Golden shiner will, I have dough balls and semolina balls. And then rainbow trout, flies, spinners, I've got everything for that. White bass, night crawlers, I do have night crawlers. And also, uh, let's see, nano sp spoons and all that sort of stuff. So I think we can do that. Marshmallows and sem I have semolina balls. So there we go. So we're going to travel there. Um, today, it's in Colorado, and uh, it's uh, this is the weather pattern for today. And if we take a look, it'll show you the weather patterns for the next couple of days. So this one, it's going to be a little, like, late evening is the best time for fishing in this weather. So basically, we should probably jump to about 4 p.m. when we get there. We can skip most of the day. But this that's how you use these charts. Um as the weather gets colder, it's better to go fishing around midday, right? So this is this is these are peak fishing times. So, uh, oh, I don't have any licenses. Oh, okay. Let's buy an advanced license. I'm just gonna get a three day license. Why not? I mean, as I say, oh, uh, yeah, I've got tons of cash. I'm not really worried about it. I should be playing smarter. This game is a. It's it's all about. Um, money spent versus money earned, right? But because I'm kind of rolling in it, um, I'm not really caring too much. <laughs> so, whatever. <laughs> but uh, this this advanced basically gives me no restrictions and all of that sort of stuff. So that's fine. All right, let's go to Rocky Lake. Do do do. There we go. Oh, look at that! You can see there's all this premium stuff you can buy. It's very pretty, but you don't need it. Uh, okay, so this is Rocky Lake. And we're going to want to go to... Can we do it from here? No. Okay. We're going to want to go to the afternoon, probably around 4 p.m. Uh, and then essentially, well, let's go fishing. Now, I don't know... Let's see what we've got here. We've got some lily pads. We've got lily pads over here. Let's go over this area, though. It looks like there's some stuff. Let's, let's just do it. Um... It's been so long since I've fished this lake. I don't know where any of the spots are anymore. Uh, challenge completed. Rocky Wanderer. Oh, hey, I got money for coming here. Oh, there's peoples. Uh, I think I turned off the chat, so I'm happy about that. Okay. Uh, let's see what we're doing here. We're basically going after... Let's just remind ourselves. Basically, we're going after the, uh, the uh, Rocky Exploration track mission, right? Okay. And we want to catch a golden shiner, okay? Now, to catch a golden shiner, do, 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 do. where is it? Right, do, dough balls and semolina balls, right? And they're not very big, so yeah, up to a pound. Okay, so that means that, uh, let's take a look at what we got. I'm using bread and honey. We're going to switch from that. Uh, basically, we can go to do some... I don't know. Let's just do dough balls. Dough balls. Number two hook. Things should be all right. Um, this gear is very heavy. Uh, it's 15 pound test fluoro. And uh, yeah, this is, no, this is way overpowered for this fishing, but we're just going to go with it. This is what I used to use to catch the Yeti and stuff like that. So, but we're going to give it a shot. So let's see, where should we, let's try, let's try over here. Let's see what we get. Oh, I should have checked the depth. Oh, it's... It, <laughs> according to the bobber... Be, oh, yeah, the bobber's in the upper right-hand corner. It's vertical, so that means that basically it's uh, it's not sitting on the bottom, which is partly what you want to see. Uh, by the way, the, the fact that you can see other people in this game, like those those dudes over there on my left, they're fishing. Yeah, that, that didn't exist the last time when I was... Uh, when I when I stopped fishing. And I don't know, I, I you just sort of, I played it for a while and then, you know, you, you, sometimes you just stop playing a game and that's what I did. I got pretty far. All right, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna be doing a lot of cutting of content um, and I'm gonna basically just show where I actually catch things or if I make some major changes to like tackle or 
my approach. What I might end up doing is just walking over to a different area. But anyways, so just expect cutting. <laughs> All right. I almost forget to forgot to fast forward the time. I should be going to about four. There we go. That was silly. <laughs> Are my buddies still here? Yeah, see, they've been here all day. <laughs> all right. Um. Actually, no. You know what? Can I go over this way? No, I can't. Oh, that's salmonberry. Look at that. Nice. Um. I'm gonna try fishing. Yeah. Let's let's try going over this way again. Maybe. Uh. There's lily pads right there. Let's try fishing those lily pads. Oh, what do we get? Oh, we got... Did we get something? Oh, we did. Oh, it's not very big. As I said, this rod is massively overpowered for these little fish. But, oh, oh what do we get? We got the black crappy. Okay, so that's off our list. We're going to keep that bad boy. Nice, nice. Okay, yeah, that's it. Thanks. Thanks for crowding me, buddy. That's all, that's all good. All right, let's try that little spot again. Because, oh, we got a woodpecker. How much wood could a woodpecker peck if a woodpecker could peck wood? That's a good question. All right, let's see what we can... As I say, we're, I'm going to cut out more stuff, so... All right. Uh, okay, that, that, things aren't happening, so... Well, okay. <laughs> I was, uh, yeah, I was trying for a little while. Let's take a look at something here. So this is the, uh, this is the lake that we're fishing right now, and... Oh, it's fairly simple, actually. So it looks like um, it's shallow around the edges and then deeper in the middle. So that's good to know. And what we could probably do is, well, you know what I might do is just fish the edge. Um, you can add a marker. No, not for the last fish. No. Uh, let's set a marker for, like, right here. This is kind of a, yeah, let's set a marker for there. No fish data. Yeah, that's because I didn't catch anything there. We're going to see if we do, though. I just want to see where that is on the lake. Oh, it's literally right there. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to try increasing the... Uh, the We're going to go up to about 70 on length. And we're going to try semolina balls. Yes. <laughs> Why? Because. All right, let's see what this does. Let's try fishing right here. There we go. All right. I am not getting any luck over here. So I think what we'll do, let's uh let's go walk about. I <laughs> this is new. Uh we <laughs> I but I, I'm gonna do this anyway. Look at this. Ooh, we can go around the lake. And we're gonna go over there's lily pads over here. I'm going to join our friends on the... Oh, hey. Tiger Wolf and Keck WPVC. Nice. Oh, can you see the bottom? Well, that's weird. All right. I'm going to fish those lily pads. So let's see. Uh, bring out this one again. Yeah, that's the right one. And let's try increasing that depth a little bit. And then we'll go right here. And we'll see what we can. Why is my bobber? Uh, okay, I think it got, I think it was jammed on something. Is there some stuff under the water? I think they're, you know, it, if it's if it's like most of these mountain lakes, it's probably got like tons of like logs and rocks and crap in this on the bottom. Yeah, and I remember when I used to fish this ages ago. I used to come here for trout. I've never, I've never targeted like golden shiner, blue gap, bluegill, and white bass, and all those ones at this lake before. So I don't, I'm a little, a little unsure about this. But um, when I did come here before, it was for trout, and I used to lose a lot of lures because there's so much um, stuff under the underwater on the on the bottom that you just get you get snags all the time. Oh, is that an eagle? <laughs> I think I heard an eagle. <laughs> all right. Let's uh, let's see if we can catch anything. Uh, what I might do is, by the way, I'm probably going to be okay. That's it. Thanks for yeah the line. Oh, oh, too early. Okay, 
I'm probably going to be trying different little spots like uh, along here. There's my previous marker, but um, and stuff like that. But we'll see. All right, we're trying blood worms. Let's see what happens. Do 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 do. Oh, I caught something. <laughs> it's whatever it is. It's pretty little. Oh, oh. Hey, I got my uh, black crappy. Nice. Oh, oh. actually, it's not on my list, is it? But it's still, it's a trophy black crappy. Look at that. I got $119 for that. 36 XP. Sweet. Oh, wow. That's cool. All right. Let's, let's go back over here. That took a little while, actually. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see what we can get. Oh, actually, I didn't mean to catch something, but I think I did. What is this? Hey, we got the bluegill. Nice, nice. Yeah, not a lot of money or XP, but it is on the list, so that's cool. All right, I think I think we're gonna for for uh, for the golden shiner. I think I'm gonna switch over to red worms because it's common shiner i think he's the golden shiners in that list as well so we're going to do that and also we're going to reduce depth a little bit i think to something like 20 it's a little fish it's not very big you know i mean it's yeah so all right let's see what we can get do 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 yeah it was, it's, uh, I'm recording this on a Sunday. I felt like just doing some fishing and, uh, I don't know. I figured I'd fire up Fishing Planet and see what, see what, what I could catch, see what's changed in the game. And the fact that you can see people is a really big change from before. That's for sure. Uh, a lot of it is very similar. Um, obviously, cause it's, there's only so many variations. You got a rod and reel and line and a bobber or lure and you cast and etc. but yeah. So, all right, let's see. Let's, uh, let's give this a bit of time. Oh. Oh, we caught some. What is it? Oh, it's not very big again. Yeah, this is all the little stuff, but but we got it. Hey, it's our golden shiner. <laughs> cool. All right, now the next thing we want to do is we want to go after white bass and white sucker. I'll be honest with you, I don't think I've ever gone after either one of those before. So if we take a look at, uh, well, there's the white bass and the white sucker. Let's take a look at the white sucker. Semolina balls. Okay, that's cool. It's two to five pounds, so it's not small, but it's got a small mouth. All right, well, um, hmm. it also looks like a bottom feeder to me. Um... <laughs> what does that mean? Well, okay. Let's just let's just go with it. Okay, so that means that we're still probably going to be using stuff, but uh, semolina. Let's go with semolina because it it likes that's what it likes. I think that number two hook is still good, but we're going to increase the lead and try to go a little closer to the bottom. And I think that's pretty well it for now. Let's give that a shot and see what we can. See what we can come up with. In fact, I think what we'll do... Ah, what the hell? We've been having good luck with this uh, lily pad. Oh, let's give it a shot. I don't know. Is it going to work? Maybe. Let's find out. Whoa. Did... What's going on? Oh! Oh, oh, oh. I think we got something. What is this? Oh, it's actually fairly big. Oh. Hey, we got our sucker. <laughs> I, I was, I looked away for a second. I was like, because, you, know, you know, I mean, it's not the fastest thing in the world. But look at that. We got 70. So it's not, it's okay. That's not a great amount, but it's 2.8 pounds, $65, 12 XP. Yeah. We're going to keep that bad boy. Yeah. Sweet. All right. One last thing to, that we're going to on our little, our mission here. And let's take a look again at, um, Let's take a look at what is the last thing we want is the white bass. 
night crawlers and small minnows. So it likes like uh, live, uh, live things. Um, most are up about a half kilo, which is one pound. No, it's not. It's two pounds. 2.54 pounds to the kilo, so about a pound. Uh, and up to two kilograms. So that's actually fairly big. Um, okay. They like spoons, shad, grubs, tubes, night crawlers, small minnow. Hmm. It's a bigger fish, bigger mouth. Okay. Why don't we go with, uh, let's up the hook size a little bit. And we'll go to a number, f I don't know. I'm just guessing. We're going to go with a number four. And we're going to basically switch over to, for baits, let's go to, um, I've got night crawlers. I think I did. <gasps> yeah, there they are. Switch over to night crawlers. Uh, bring it up to like about four feet-ish, somewhere in that re region. There we go. And let's see what we can, uh, let's see if this actually has any. We're going to keep working this, these lily pads because I tell you, they seem to be doing really well. There we go. All right. <laughs> As usual, I will return. All right. You know, I'm not having a lot of luck. I, I, I tried. Okay. So I did try um, the lily pads and then I went over a little this way. Maybe we'll try over on the right hand side. Can I go any further up the trail here? Oh, I can. Oh. Oh. Can I, can I fish from here? Uh, <laughs> we are pushing the, pushing the boundaries of the game. No, apparently the game is not going to let us do that. So, uh, how about, oh, Tiger Wolf, what happened to you? You are a shadow of your former self. Dude, seriously. Okay. I think what I'll do is I'm going to try, let's try working some of the edges here. Um, how about right in here somewhere. I tried on the left-hand side of the lily pads. I'm going to try the right-hand side of the lily pads. All right, let's give this a shot. All right. No, no, I've tried a bunch of different things. Uh, let's see, I, <laughs> I, I, I switched the hook size. Leader length size, different locations. We're switching up. We're changing over to we're going we're going spinner. <laughs> That's what we're doing. In fact, so what is this? Uh right, this is my heavier one. It's five sevenths to one and three quarter ounce lures. We're gonna go with a spoon or wait a minute. What did they say? What did they say? White bass. Nano spoons, nano spinners, tubes, and grubs. Okay, all right. So we have, uh, I don't know what a nano spoon is, but I'm just going to go with one of my nice spoons here. It's a medium, it's a half ounce, which is, oh, it's a little light for this one. Let's switch over to you. You can do, yeah, you can do it. Yeah, three to, what's your, what is my, what's the line? Line is eight pound test. Okay, we're going to go with optimal weight. Look at that. Nice. All right, let's give this a shot. And... Wow, look at all this. I mean, I've been noticing that people are fishing over in that direction a lot, which is why I kind of switched over to it. And you can see the fish jumping over there. Let's see if... Okay. Oh, wow. I've got some good range on this. Let's let's do this. There we go. All right. Give it a chance to sink and then start bringing it in. Okay. We're going to do stop and go. It's it's super easy. You just You just reel in a bit. Let it drop, reel in a bit, let it drop. You get the idea. All right. So basically, I'm going to be doing this for, <laughs> for a little while. I'm going to cut out most of it, <laughs> mostly because, you know. And then if I get some success, you'll see what I got success on. Okay. All right. Don't ever do this. If you ever play this game, don't ever do this. Cur Here, let me show you. <clears throat> so I am I am currently at the lake. <laughs> so uh, this is a do as I say, not as I do type moment here. <laughs> but if we if we take a look again at the um, at the fish, what we've got here, white bass, they want shads, grubs, narrow spoons, and nano spoons, right? And essentially, I have 
Oh, I have medium spoons. I don't have any narrow spoons, and I have casting spoons. I thought I, I, you have limited amount of stuff you can take with you, and I thought I'd brought more of more different things. I have crank baits. I have a, I have a bunch of things. Bass jigs. Um, I do have, uh, I have worms, and I have a shad. Did that say shad? No. That's fine. Like it, it may it may be that it, it it'll be okay. I mean, I really I could go back to doing the bait fishing again, but we're going to do something that you should not do ever. That is you hit up the shop when you're at the lake. This is oh, trout invader and premium tackle. Let's see what we got here. This is there's your nano spoons, your nano spinners and stuff like that. They this stuff costs an arm and a leg when you come here. When you buy this stuff at the lake, it's terrible. See, there's a, there's a narrow spoon. Uh, what is that, a quarter ounce? Quarter ounce. Can I even, can I even use a quarter ounce? Uh, yeah, yeah, I can. I can on this particular one. Wow, okay. All right. So we're going to get, um, we're going to get a, a purple narrow spoon. Oh, yeah, this is, this is really bad. This is very, very bad. You should never do this. You should never do this. This is, uh, this is a bad, bad news. Very, very bad news. Okay, but we're doing it anyways. Why? Because <laughs> it's important. Uh, we're going to try the black one. Let's see. There we go. Okay. Let's see what happens. Now, this is apparently the recommended stuff. Uh, let's try Let's try over here. Okay. Is this going to work? I have no idea. I want to get that that white bass. I want to I want to get I want to finish this mission. And so we're basically just trying all kinds of different things to see what we can do. Normally I would be a lot more casual about this. I'd probably go home, make sure I had some spinners and some stuff that was more appropriate to this lake, come back and just chill and and uh just try different things, but this we're on a mission. It's a mission. Oh. 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 Oh, okay. That was not good. That was ex that's that's an expensive. All right. <laughs> that's what happens when you talk <laughs> while you're playing. <laughs> Let's give that another shot. What the heck was that? What is my drag? Oh, okay. Let's try this again. Now, either I caught on a snag and I pulled too hard and I. I broke the line, or that fish was a little bigger than I expected, and I was too aggressive in trying to bring it in. Probably it was just me being too aggressive, and I shouldn't have done that. And also, this gear is a lot lighter than than I was using before, so I, you have to be a bit more delicate with it. Oh, oh. What is this? Oh, it is. It's something. Oh. Okay, and you see that it Look at how much strain it put on the... Oh, we got to be a lot more careful with this. What is... What is it? Wow. It's... Whatever it is, it's super active. Hey, it's a golden Colorado trout. <laughs> nice. Oh, that's sweet. Look at that. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> well, that's not what we wanted. That's our next mission. But we're going to... let's We're going to see about doing this again. There we go. This is actually, that's the kind of thing I used to come into this lake to get before. So, okay. <laughs> that's more like it. Do, 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 do. This is quite, I, I'll be honest with you, I do not enjoy float fishing. Uh, I, I basically do it because, you know, we've got these challenges and these missions and, and all of that sort of stuff. It's not my favorite throwing a line in the thing and staring at a bobber. I mean, really, it, it just, it's just not that fun. This is, this is a much more active, uh, when you use a spinner and you basically, or a spinning rod and you use like spinning lures and spoons and stuff. And it's a lot more active and I think it's a lot more, um, I think it's a lot more enjoyable. So anyways, I'll tell you what, I'm going to, we're going to basically come back when we get a little bit more success. We might, I might have to go to the next day. It is 6.30 PM. 
And I think we're getting outside of our, our happy window. Oh, am I 18 feet only? Okay. Okay, there we go. If we take a look at the... Uh, yeah, see, we're, at, we're right at the edge. Oh. oh. Wait a minute. This looks different than... Is it just me, or is this... Hmm. I don't know. Let's... Could have sworn that it was a had a had a lump in here. Okay, well, we might have to go to tomorrow. So, all right, I'll be back. All right, we can go to the next day. Jeez, <laughs> oh, uh, cool down for next fast forward is four oh six. Okay, I don't know what that means, but that's fine. Um, there is no cool down period between nine from nine p.m. till five a.m. Oh, okay, so you not at night. All right, that makes sense. All right, uh, next morning. Extend. Yeah, it cost 300 We made 349 I'm not worried about the money. Okay, let's take a look at the situation with the... Oh, man. Um, yeah, see, I want to be able to fast forward to uh, 11 noon-ish, but I don't think I'm going to be able to, am I? Yeah, see, I, I'm not going to be able to. All right, well, we're going to make uh, we're going to make lemons from this lemonade. Let's give this a shot. That's it. Cast on the right side. Good boy. Good boy. It's really foggy out. Okay. Oh. Oh, I think. Did we get something? Oh, we got something. It's not. You know what? It's not going to be what we want, but. <laughs> I, 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 oh, yeah. He's too fast. No, no. This is way too fast. That's a trout of some sort. Hey, young cutthroat. Yeah, we're going to keep you. <laughs> all right back we go oh okay yeah i'm gonna have to if i go see that's the thing if i go anywhere like along through there with this spoon i'm gonna get trout and what i need to do is keep along the outside edges i think because that's where the bass like to hang out at least it was traditionally back in the old days when i used to fish this map or this game but anyways we'll we'll just keep going Oh, oh, got something. Oh, oh, okay. This might be it. This might be it. All right, so I switch back to bait. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. What is it? What is it? <laughs> well, it's something. <laughs> Basically, I cast right in here, right in. The, you know what? Let's try casting right in these reeds right here. I know it's not far. It's just like right at the edge here. But, you know, I'm just trying to, you know, this is bass like to hang out is, in the past, what I've found is they like to hang out right along the shoreline in these sort of little areas. I've always had good luck in the past with going after them here. So I thought, you know what, let's do bait fish again and we'll go right in the, right in the reeds. Because... I, I, I'm at wit's end. <laughs> I just go, one, one, oh. Something's interested. No. Okay. All right. I'll be back if something exciting happens. Oh, 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 come on. Oh, hey. Oh, you've got a little bit of spunk to you, don't you? Oh, yeah. What are you? No, I don't think that's, well, is it another sucker? Oh, my God. All right. Well, obviously, suckers are not. <laughs> oh, jeez. They like night crawlers, apparently. Um, okay. Let's try. I don't... They're not that much different, but we're going to switch over to red worms. Number one hook. Let's extend that a little bit to about... Uh, yeah, about that. Go a little deeper. Most likely, it's not going to make a big difference, but... Let's try going a little further along. Obviously, that right in that one spot is a good sucker spot. There's a sucker born every minute, and apparently it's in that spot. All right. Oh, oh, okay. All right. What? Oh, what is this? Is this another sucker? <laughs> Look at the way he moves. Woo! <laughs> you know, these guys are really good fighters. Oh, it's a rainbow. <laughs> I should have known. He actually fought like a rainbow. And rainbows like worms. Okay. All right. 
You know what? At least we're getting stuff. I mean, it's not what we're targeting, but it's it's better than nothing. Oh, it's very quick too. All of, I'm getting bites very quickly. Yeah, see, look, nibble, nibble. You see that? Oh, okay, all right. Oh. Oh, this is slower moving. Oh, is this what we want? No, it's another sucker. Okay. It's a 2.8 pound sucker, but it's still a sucker. <sighs> well, how about if we go right over... Let's go right in there. Oh, okay. No, what is it? It's a sucker. Is it a sucker? It's another sucker. <sighs> okay. All right. Let's review. Let's review. Okay. We want white bass. Night crawlers and small minnows. I do not have small minnows. Hmm. If I go into the shop, and if I go to premium tackle, and if we take a look at what kind of... I could buy some small minnows. You know what? As I said, don't do this. This is bad. <laughs> this is very, very bad. <laughs> But we're going to small minnows. Why? Because the game said so. All right. There we go. Let's do right there. Apparently somebody else has the same idea. I don't know what he's actually using, but he's... Oh, he, did he catch something? Okay, well, he's obviously doing better than me. He's got a spoon on. Oh, he's flicking his line all over my face. Oh, okay. Oh, there we go. There we go. Something's happening. Okay. Oh, 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 very active. Super active. <laughs> That's definitely trout. Um, hey, Silvo, how's it going? Okay, I'm going to go. Hmm. Let's see if we can get right into the reeds. Okay, something's after it. You know, it's actually really productive fishing in that one that one side. It's just it's not what we that's not what I want. Ooh, back and forth. Wiggle wiggle wiggle. Eh? <laughs> Look at it go. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Come on. You can do more than just sort of play around with your food. Stop playing with your food. Actually eat it. <laughs> there, look at it. Off it goes. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> and yet the bobber on the screen hasn't done anything, but it's all over the place. That is really cool. Oh, okay. Oh, what is it? Hey, we got it! <laughs> what a new personal record. I don't know if I've ever caught a white bass before, so that makes complete sense. All right. There we go. We're going to keep that. That means that we've finished our rocky exploration. There we go. We got, what is it? Some nice barbless one, number one, or one-aught hooks. Okay. And we got a coin, $1,300. Awesome. And there's our reward. Sweet. All right. Well, uh, <laughs> I mean, we could try and track the, uh, I mean, I don't know if I've got time for it, but um, 
rocky, careful angler. So this is, oh, you have to equip a barbless spoon. I do not have a barbless spoon. So, oh, wait a minute. Didn't I, did I win one? A barbless spoon. Set a good time for fish activity. Catch a fish using stop and go. Release the fish. Okay. By catching 10 fish on, and then complete barbless master by, okay. Rocky trial. All right, so there we go. Use a barbless spoon or spinner. Catch and release a catch and release three things: Colorado golden, rainbow, and cutthroat. Okay. Um, use a barbless spoon. Click here for details. Okay. Well, actually, do I have one? If I don't have one, then we can't really do it, anyways. And besides, this has gotten this went on for a lot longer. Although, uh, for me, this was I just did that challenge, that mission, in approximately two and a half hours. So, uh, where are we here? Inventory. Yeah, see, none of these... I, oh, wait a minute. I'm using the wrong gear. Um, I can't remember. So, yeah. Okay, I th I don't think I have any. Or if I do, then that's... Yeah, I'm prob what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to go and come back. Uh, I think this is good for now. Narrow spoon. I don't... I think I got barbless hooks. That's what I got, were barbless hooks. I didn't. I don't have any barbless spoons or anything like that. And if I were to shop for, if I was to go in to get premium tackle and try to get a uh, barbless, oh. Did I buy a barbless? And there's a barbless. Oh, no, these, are, these require coins to spend. Yeah, you have to spend coins to get them. I might have to do that anyways, even if, I, if I'm not here. Um, but all right. We're going to call... Wait a minute. 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 Uh, Barbless Nano. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, these all cost coins. And I, don't, I have 40 coins. I don't want to spend them all on just, you know... Well, we could do... Well... Anyways, I think this is a good place to stop. So, there you go. That is... Uh, that's Fishing Planet. Um, the Rocky... Uh, one of the rocky missions. So that's kind of cool. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I'm going to call it here. Thank you very much, everyone. Until next time, you all have yourselves a great day. Bye-bye.